Hello everybody. This is a continuation of the example that I used using the model view controller on the login screen. I'm going to talk a little bit more about how the JSON works, sending it back and forth back to the database web app that I've created and then back to the interface. Here I'm, I'm using JSON which converts string or arrays or objects into JSON format to send back and forth um, which is quite helpful so you don't have to do that yourself. Uh, I'll go a little bit more of how that works a little bit later on but basically I'm using a method uh, to send this information to this URL as in JSON format and then in the database tier where we receive that information I receive what is supplied and then I'm using JSON to convert it from JSON to uh, whatever format I need. Um, in this example I'm just putting in a regular string. I'm not putting in any arrays or any objects. I'm just putting in a string. And so on this side I know, okay, since it's coming in as a string, I'm going to convert it from JSON as a single string uh, and then feed it into this object. And then I perform logic with that and I'm creating another list which is an array list of type string array. And the reason why I'm doing that is just so I can define what each object is inside each list so that I know that when I come to this object I know that it is a username and that the information fed is username information etc. So I load in this object or this list and then I convert the list to a double array and then I convert it to JSON format and then I'm just returning it. So when it comes back, I know that it's a two-dimensional array, and I feed it into my object from JSON format. And then I'm reading in each array index so that I know if index 0 is username, I know the data is username information so that I can load it into my model, username, password, and salt. Now, JSON format is basically multi-dimensional arrays together. Um, the best way I can explain that is so say let's let's have a string here and I can have uh, let's ignore that. So the JSON representation is it basically grabs any type of object whether it's complicated such as well let's say this user model you know it's it, this isn't too complicated but it can convert this user model into a string representation of that model uh, and so it's easily readable so if I get a notepad let's say so we know this user object has five different aspects to it. So we have the first name, last name, username, password, salt. Okay, if I have a user whose first name is George, and we have McFly, username is G McFly, password is, I don't know, back to the future, and then the salt is just something random. Then I can have a JSON representation of that be something like this, Whoops. where first name George, last name, you know, McFly, and so forth, and fill all those out. Well, what if one of these was another object. Let's say there's a time machine object equals DeLorean and the DeLorean 
had various attributes like um, door count and uh, I don't know horsepower. Um, then how that would look here is we would have DeLorean. Well, first we would have Time Machine DeLorean. I don't even know if I'm spelling that right. But then that would also have attributes. And then we would have, you know, door count and horsepower, you know. And it, it, it's kind of like this type of representation. I'm probably not doing this perfectly, but that's kind of the, the gist of how JSON is represented. So this JSON actually converts it for me and makes it so it's more readable when I go back and forth. I know it's going to come in as this object or that object. Um, so that's, that's the gist of JSON.